Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike, and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to build a little paintbrush tool on the HTML canvas. So over here, I just have a little demo in CodePen, and you can see whenever I press down and I draw, I can actually draw something. So this is a very basic version of a drawing app, but it's gonna show you the actual core concepts of how drawing on the canvas works. So why don't we go ahead and get started? I have a bunch of JavaScript here and I'm just gonna get rid of it so we can go through all of that together. But what I have here to start is a canvas and that's over in our HTML, it has an ID of paint canvas. I just gave it a couple of little styles and then down here in the JavaScript, we're getting access to that using get element by ID and then we're also getting the context. That's what CTX stands for. This is what you're gonna see commonly used. And we're just saying canvas.getContext2D. So this context is what's gonna allow us to do things like drawing, defining like colors and all sorts of other stuff. So that's really important. Now, when we're gonna build this drawing app, the first thing that we need to do is attach some events onto the canvas itself. And one thing we wanna keep track of is whether or not they're drawing or not. So if the user is drawing, it means that the mouse is held down and they're kind of moving around and that would mean that they're, you know, drawing something. So that's what we're going to create first is we're going to keep track of this little piece of state called is drawing. And I'm going to go ahead and say canvas dot add event listener. And we're going to attach a couple events to the canvas. So the first one is when they put the mouse down and that's going to take an event and then let's do two more. So when they push the mouse down and then when the mouse is moving, if I can spell that, mouse move, and then the last one would be mouse up. And we're gonna see what happens with this is drawing piece of state. So down here, when they push the mouse down, is drawing is gonna be equal to true. And then when they lift the mouse up, is drawing is gonna be equal to false. And then here, when they move the mouse, we only want to have them draw something when is drawing is equal to true. So if is drawing is equal to true, and actually because this is a Boolean, we don't even need to put equal to true. So if they're drawing, then in here, we're gonna draw a line. All right, so now that we're keeping track of this is drawing variable, we can actually go in and have them start drawing stuff. So in the mouse down uh, event handler, let's start by defining a couple things. Uh, the first thing is the context, and we can define the line width. So this is gonna be like how thick the paintbrush is. In this case, why don't we just say five pixels? And then we can also say context.stroke style, and that's gonna allow us to put in a color. So right now, why don't we just put in black? But you could change that to pretty much any uh, CSS color. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say context.beginPath, and this is gonna start by creating a path for our paintbrush, like for our line. So we're essentially gonna be drawing lines between where the mouse was and the new, the new location of the mouse. And when we mouse down, we're just gonna start defining that. So we can say context.move to, and now we wanna say, we wanna move this uh, line or this line drawing to wherever the mouse is, because that's where we're gonna start. So we begin a path, and then we wanna start the path at wherever the mouse is. So that's gonna be event.clientx, and event.clientY. And that's coming from this event object, which we get from the mouse down event. So that's a mouse event, and client X and client Y are gonna tell us where the mouse actually is. So we're telling the canvas to begin a path and move it to the client X and the client Y, where the mouse is. And then down here, if we wanna draw the line, we can say ctx.line2. So we're gonna draw a line from wherever they initially put the mouse down to the new location of the mouse. So here in this mouse move event, we have another event object, and this is gonna tell us where the mouse got moved to. So here we're getting where the mouse was when they put the mouse down. Here we're getting where the mouse moved to, so the new location. So in, this, in the same way, that's gonna be event.clientx and event.clienty. Okay. And then the final thing we need to do is tell the canvas to actually draw a line. So we can say ctx.stroke, and then it'll draw a line that has a line with a five and that's black. And so now what should happen is whenever I press down and then I move the mouse, we should be able to draw a little bit. 
Now you'll notice one thing that's happening is it's drawing like slightly below the mouse. And that's because this element here, you can see there's like a little bit of padding uh, next to the document. So it's a little bit off center. One thing that we can do to fix that is we can actually get the coordinates of the canvas and figure out how much it's kind of offset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function up here called get mouse position. And this is just going to be, it's going to take an event. So anytime we need to get the mouse now, we're going to pass it one of these events. And it's going to take an event and we can say const rect is going to be equal to canvas .get bounding client rect. So get bounding client rect, that's going to tell us exactly where this canvas is positioned relative to the document. So in this case, like we have this padding here, and this is a really common technique that people use. We have this padding here between the canvas and the document. So this is going to tell us how far away the canvas is. Then what we can do is we can subtract that or we can subtract the location of the mouse from that and we can kind of figure out exactly where it's supposed to be. Like I said, this is a really common thing to do. And actually, you know what? Instead of putting this here in its own little function, why don't we just do this down here? So I'm gonna put this right in the mouse down. So this rect, and then what we can say is um, event.clientx minus rect.x and then event.clienty minus rect.y. So we're taking however far away the rect is from the document and then that's getting subtracted from the mouse. So this is again, it's just a way of kind of fixing this uh, error where we're kind of off a little bit. So then I'm gonna do the same thing down here and we'll also do that same subtraction. So I'm gonna subtract rec.x and you could put this in another uh, function like I was trying to do earlier, but this is just like a little bit easier for the tutorial. All right, so now you'll see that it's drawing right underneath the mouse and that's just kind of something that we have to do again because this is off center. So uh, like another example of this, if I was to put the margin of this like five EMs or something, if the margin is, you know, down, if there's a lot of space between here, we need to do that so that we can kind of uh, put the mouse in the right place. Okay. All right. So now that we've fixed that, we basically have our little drawing app. Uh, one thing we might want to do though, is make it so that whenever the mouse leaves the canvas element, it also stops the drawing. So if you notice right now, if I hold down and then the mouse leaves here, and then if I uh, release the mouse, it still keeps drawing when I'm in here because is drawing didn't get set to false. So we could detach another event here, which would be mouse leave. And that's going to be fixed now. So that little bug gets fixed. So hopefully now you can see how you can start drawing on the canvas. We could also change this to red. So you could change the color. You can change it to whatever you want. You could also hook this up to like a, a color input field. Um, but for now, that gives you guys the basic idea of how this works. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.